Hi folks, Max from Galaxy S4, root.com for this week's ROM of the week. Check out SOKP ROM. Uh, stands for Sonic Android Open uh, Kang Project. Sort of like AOKP, but with Sonic instead of Android. Um, so let me go ahead and show you this ROM here. Let me make the brightness bigger. Uh, it is uh, based on the latest Android 4.4.2 KitKat. And it is developed for uh, most of the Galaxy S4s. I've got it installed on my GTI 9505, but you can go ahead and install it on at and T Mobile Sprint, Verizon, US Cellular, Cricket, Metro PCS, GTI 9505, and also there's a separate version for GTI 9500, the Exynos International version. Um, so let me go ahead and show you all of the features. Well, not all of the features, but most of the features. I've got the Android KitKat launcher here, which it comes with. It also does come with two other launchers, Galaxy launcher here, which makes your phone look like um, sort of uh, like a TouchWiz, but it's actually not TouchWiz. It's just a launcher customized for AOSP ROMs. Um, this ROM, I really like it. It comes with a ton of features. It comes with like all of these features that you can play around with. Um, let's just check out some of these stuff you can do. A lock screen, you can go ahead and get up to eight different lock screen targets. Uh, so I've set four here, um, but you can go ahead and uh, customize all of your uh, targets there. And also theme style, you can go ahead and change some of the colors, a lock screen widgets. And also, let me go ahead and show you uh, the buttons here. And there is fast torch, um, enabling, enable holding the power button with the screen off. So I really like this feature. Go ahead and hold down the power button when your sc screen is off and you can quickly turn on the torch and when you let it go, it'll turn off. So uh, little things here and there, very nice stuff. Um, also, you've got active display if you wanna enable uh, that. And I think there is lock screen notifications, which is one of my favorites. Um, this will show your notifications in your lock screen so you don't have to unlock your lock screen. Um, I'm not gonna show you everything, but uh, if you do go to advanced controls, you'll find some additional audio configurations you can do with uh, Digital Dolby, which will give you better sound. Go ahead and enable that. Audio FX. Also, if you want to adjust uh, the CPU, you can go ahead and use Kernel Tweaker and go to CPU Parameters. Um, whoops, that didn't work out too well. Um, you can go ahead and grab, what is that? Oh, it's working now, there we go. And it doesn't come with overclockable kernel, um, but you can go ahead and install a uh, custom kernel along with it if you want to overclock. Now let's go ahead and take some of the, uh, if you swipe to the right, some of these other stuff you can do. It comes with exposed framework. Um, make sure after you install this ROM, if you want to make use of any of the modules, uh, make sure you head, go ahead and hit install update. And uh, before you reboot, go to modules, enable any of these modules that you want to run. Uh, it comes with exposed app settings, which allows you to run your favorite apps in uh, phone or tablet mode or custom DPI mode. Also Fab 7, which allows you to run your whole phone UI in phone or tablet, tablet mode. Um, also X Halo floating window. It's an experimental feature. I'll show you at the end. Uh, also exposed CM 10.1 Netflix workaround uh, if you're having trouble with Netflix. All right, this ROM also does come with the experimental multi-window feature ported from OmniROM. So go ahead and open any of your favorite apps. Then go ahead and open uh, your recent RAM bar and go ahead and do a long press. Do you add to split? Um, this will add it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the Play Store to uh, the split view here. Um, so you've got full multi-window here. And that's not all. It actually comes with an experimental floating uh, window feature. You can play around with that. So it is actually a really fun ROM. Um, comes with a ton of customizations you're used to probably with other AOSP ROMs. Probably has all of them um, here. And you can go ahead and enable uh, Pi controls here if you want it. Uh, there we go. And let me go ahead and show you uh, one more thing before I go here. If you go to advanced controls, if you did enable the the uh, floating window module, you can go ahead and go to floating multi windows here, and you can go ahead and change the size of your windows uh, if you want to. There we go. Change the size for portrait, landscape, and also you can even make it movable and resizable. There we go. Now to actually enable this, you'll have to go back to SOKP Halo. Make sure you enable this. 
and you should be all ready to go and you can go ahead and hit the halo uh, button there and you should be able to get your uh, notification working as you can see in a floating window there now let me go ahead and close this uh, I want to close it there we go now if you want to enable your custom uh, your own app you can go ahead and grab the halo app uh, which looks like this go to the play store and type halo and look for the halo app here and you can go ahead and add any of your favorite apps so I've added uh, Chrome let's add the calculator and then if you hit play this will also show up in your halo floating window so you can go ahead and uh, launch these as floating windows uh, let me go ahead and launch the calculator as a floating window and you can see I can actually use it and also um, you can resize it if you want to uh, and uh, this is sort of an experimental feature I find it actually breaks some of my UI so I don't actually recommend it uh, at this point but it's definitely a feature you can play with and uh, have multi-window running on an AOSP ROM. Um, so pretty cool stuff. And again, you'll have to play with it to get it working just right. And uh, I don't actually recommend it for noobs or if you just want to mess around. Also for camera, we've got um, AOSP camera here working just fine. And there we go. Let's go ahead and record. And I don't really like this camera that much. I would go ahead and grab the older Android 4.3 Photosphere camera so you also have the ability to do Photosphere. Uh, overall, this ROM is feature packed. Um, some of the features aren't perfect yet, such as the multi-window. I mean, but it does work and it is really fun to play with. And uh, even if you don't need all those features, you can find all these other customizations uh, which work flawlessly out of the box. Um, you know, I'm not going to go all of them, but you know, I will let you try all of these um, different mods. And uh, that's about it. So definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. Really like this ROM. A ton of customization. Uh, pretty solid ROM. Very fast. And uh, that's about it. And uh, I will see you guys soon. Um, tell me what you think of this ROM. And uh, that's it. Stay high on Android. Yeah.